Hello everybody, this is Chris, otherwise known as the Big Blue Baller, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and today going over a silver card snipe filter in which you can earn a thousand MT profit per minute. Yes, that's right, I'm not exaggerating. So if you are excited to learn how to make thousands of MT in just minutes, go ahead and stick around to the end of the video, and if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe to the Big Blue Baller Buckets YouTube channel, as we will be having numerous NBA 2K20 tips and tricks and tutorials for you guys especially on my team and also coming soon NBA 2k21 we're less than two months away from the new game I'm excited I don't know about you guys and I'm also eagerly awaiting the new consoles but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into this video now the filter we're gonna be using is pretty simple even somebody that doesn't have great timing with sniping on galaxy opals and pink diamonds will find success with this card filter uh, to kick things off, you want to set the color to silver, obviously, because this is a silver card snipe filter. Uh, you want to set the theme to the current 2020 NBA season, not the league pack second volume, but the first volume. And then you're going to want to set your minimum buyout to 500 MT and your max buyout to 1050 MT. Now, some of you might be thinking that that max buyout is just a bit too high, but keep in mind that these cards are no longer available in packs and you can sell these cards for a minimum of 1300 MT and after the 10% tax for selling an auction, uh, you will be earning over 100 MT even if you are spending 1050 on a card. This doesn't imply that the silver cards only go for 1300 MT, remember that is just the minimum. Some of these cards will sell for around 3000 to 5000 MT as well, which is obviously a huge profit if you're picking it up for 1000 or 1050 MT. So that's why the max buyout is so high is because some of these cards that sell for around the 3000 to 5000 range will get listed for 1050 and not a lot of people are filtering out silver cards for that high of a max buyout. So that's why I said it that high is because there's not a lot of competition. Most people are saying their filters to be around 500 to 700 MT or 500 to 650 MT. And I think that's a little bit too low. There's too much competition down there. And yes, you are able to snag some of those cards from time to time. However, most people that don't snipe very often will not find as much success competing with the people that are consistently on the auction house going for these cards. All right, so let's go ahead and look at footage from a 10 minute sniping session that I had last night. As you can see right here, we got a Cameron Johnson and a Nicholas Claxton for 1000 MT. Those usually both sell for around 1300 at the minimum, so it's going to get you around a 100 to 200 MT profit right there. Uh, picking up a Dennis Smith Jr., missing out on a Markel Fultz, which goes for a few thousand MT, unfortunately. Uh, and here's another Dennis Smith Jr. right there. That's also going to sell for around 13 to 1400 MT, depending on the time of day. Alex Caruso, that's a pretty big pickup. You can get him sold for around 1500 MT on a good day. And then CJ Miles, that one is a great pickup. Unfortunately, we weren't able to snag him, but he usually goes for around 2000 MT. Uh, and all these cards that popped up here in this filter, uh, a lot of them going for around the 500 to 600 range, as you were able to see here, I was not able to pick them up. However, we did get Kevin Huerter, who will be a nice 1000 MT profit, as well as Marvin Williams. And then here, Josh Jackson, as you can see, this is why I'm saying this filter is so great. Look how much time I took to buy this card, and he will sell for a nice 500 plus MT profit, picking him up at 1000 MT. That's why I have the filter set the way it is. I think some profit is better than no profit. Um, especially with such a short sniping session here, able to pick up a John Henson for 800 MT, that'll sell for around 1,000 to 2,000 profit. Uh, Aaron Holiday, unfortunately not able to get him, but Grant Williams, he will also sell for at least 1,000 more MT than what I bought him for. DJ Augustine, that one is a great pickup. He will sell for a minimum of 2,000 MT. Same with Edmund Summer, as we're gonna see here in a minute. Jeff Green, also a great one. I sold him for over 3,000 MT. And then right here, getting Luka, not Luka Doncic, but the other Luka in the NBA. And Zaire Smith, he also sells for upwards of 2,000 to 3,000 MT. Now going ahead and looking at, just for example, Zaire Smith, you can see right here at the time of my sniping session, he was selling for a minimum of 4,000 MT. 
and then Edmund Summer selling for a minimum of 3,900 MT. So during that 10 minute sniping session, I spent a total of 15,250 MT on the cards I was able to snipe and ended up selling them for a total of 29,970 MT after the tax, which results in a profit of 14,720 MT. As I stated previously, this filter is great for players that don't typically snipe on the auction house and don't have great timing as there's not a lot of competition. And most players are trying to go big or go home with these Galaxy Opal snipe filters. And I've tried them out before for a stretch of like 30 minutes or so and have had little to no success. And honestly, this is how I've been able to build up my MT wealth in the past few weeks. I only started playing my team again at the beginning of July and around that time had around 80,000 MT. And now you can see I'm well above 500,000 MT. So my recommendation is to always go for filters that don't have a lot of competition because even small amounts of profit are still profit at the end of the day and those add up over time very quickly. Even if you're only making 100 to 200 MT profit on every single card, if you're picking several of those cards up within a 10 to 20 minute time frame, you're making a few thousand MT right there and it's quick and easy MT to go ahead and spend on some cards to improve your lineup or to complete your different collections. So again, if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe to the Big Blue Baller Buckets YouTube channel down below. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comment section as well. And if you're interested in checking out other MT making tutorials and tips and tricks, go ahead and click either of the two videos on your screen right now as I go over some other great advice for making some MT quickly within the next few weeks leading up to NBA 2K21. Once again, hope you all enjoyed, and to all my big blue ballers out there, let's get that bread, and I will see you all on the next one.